Hello and welcome to the Car Care Nut channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to service the high voltage battery fan filters on a 2017 and up Prius Prime. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And without further ado, let's dig right into it. So a small overview before we get started. The Prius Prime has two filters, one on the driver's side and the back seat between the back of the back seat and the door, and one on the exact same spot on the other side. Folks, I always tell you that these filters are the lifeblood of the high voltage battery and especially true for this car. At the end of this video, I will take you on a small tour of the high voltage battery so you know its location in these cars and you understand the magnificence of this ginormous battery. And a lot of people have asked me, how often should you clean these filters? Folks, this depends on your use. If you have pets, if you have children, if you have heavy backseat use, or you have no backseat use. So I recommend you check it every three months initially. If after three months the, the filter is clean, move it to six months, to a year, and sometimes you could even go years with the filters being clean. So that's why I tell you, it depends on your use. So having said that, let's go in the back. Let me show you how to remove the filters and service them. So the removal procedure for these filters, it's the same for both sides. You're gonna start by pulling the weather strip, this weather strip right here. You're just gonna grab it and pull it out a little bit around the filter area. We're going to grab the filter door and just pull it out like so. Usually the filter will come flying off, but it's as simple as that. Here's the door and here's the filter. And the other side is exactly the same. Pull the weather strip, pull the panel, and here's the filter. Let's go about cleaning the filter. All right, folks, so once you got the filters out, let's talk about cleaning them. You can vacuum the filters out, just use a vacuum up inside and out and you're good to go. Or if you really wanna take it to the next level with cleaning, use compressed air. Just clean them up real well. And you're all set. And by the way, you're not required to replace these filters every time, you can clean them and reuse them. This is according to Toyota's repair manual. But if you do want to replace them, if they get ripped or they get too old, I'll leave the part number for them right here. Now, I gotta say one thing about this car. This car is in beautiful shape. These filters are clean. The owner of this car, who's actually a viewer, Candy Cane, I'd like to give her a huge shout out for volunteering her time, driving from actually very far away to bring me this car so we can make this video for you guys. So thank you, Candy Cane, again, for bringing your car. Let's go put these filters back in the car. And to install the filter, I want you to pay attention to this tab right here. That tab is gonna go down. We're just gonna set the filter down like so. And then I want you to pay attention to these three tabs. One, two, three. We're gonna start those first. We're gonna put them in these three openings like so. And then push the filter down. Once you're done, put your weather strip back. Just like so, make sure it's nice and secured. Do the same thing on the other side. And folks, this is the high voltage battery on the Prime. It sits in the back. That's why your load floor is so high up and you don't have much storage. It is a huge battery. It, uh, it is very expensive. It's a lithium ion battery. Um, I wanted to show you the battery. I don't encourage you to take things apart and go around the battery, but I wanted to show you this so you're aware how big this battery is and of course how expensive it is and the importance of the maintenance. Now you know how to service the fan filters. You know how the battery looks like and where it is. I don't recommend you pull these covers and start working around the battery. I just did this for demonstration purposes. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something new. 
If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and you have a wonderful day.